Oh yeah, <laughs> like I'd like to see you do better. Oh wait. Now I've never in my lifetime been good at art. So now it's time to prove you wrong, Mrs. Cool. You absolute sack of sh. Woo! Top of the morning, bloodios. Welcome to Devlog 4 of Platform Blood. Last devlog I made two new levels, made some art for the game, and added more bosses. The feedback I've gotten is that the game looks incredible. I mean, they're not wrong, it does look good. There's just not much of an audience. And for many indie games, you need an audience that would want to play your game. So we'll get into that in a bit. Let's get into Devlog 4. So here's how the month started off. Oh, gee Willeker, I cannot wait to do some coding on platform blood. Wait a minute, what is that? Oh lordy, prelims? Not a lot. But here's what I did do. So I added the new motorbike from the last video, but now we just need a motorbike controller so that it'll make it feel like you're on a motorbike. Currently I just have the player movement duplicated onto the motorbike, but we can do better than that. And better than that we shall. Make a little motorbike in here, have a bike movement script. We make a little variable called movement speed, yeah? So movement speed, that's got nothing in it. And then when you get the key D, it moves the speed up by 0.15 value whatever it is yeah so if the movement speed is greater than 12 it'll stay 12 and when you get it up the speed is set back to zero and that works out pretty effectively i can't lie and it very well does work i've been recommended to improve the drifting animation but that's something to work on later there's also one thing i want to improve of platform blood so let's quickly turn up the notch shall we i decided to add some lens distortion to the game and so far everyone that has seen it has said it's very sigma but the thing is, everyone else that said that is very Sigma, so it's even more Sigma than that. You know what else is very Sigma? The Platform Blood Devlog playlist. I even recommend checking it out if you want to see more of the story behind this whole game, so that would be very Sigma. Thank you. Halt there a minute. I woke up this morning and I was thinking, I want to make Platform Blood a mobile game, so let's get into it. Now there are a few minor steps into porting the game to mobile from PC. The first step is to have the Android SDKs in Unity, which mostly they're just built in anyway, so that's easy. But the next step is, well, porting the game. The process is easy enough. I already have a Google Play developer account for some projects I did two years ago, so I might as well just use that account. Before anyone asks why Platform Blood doesn't come to iPhones or even iPads, um, can't afford it. Let's begin porting the game though. Alright, so this is the first level. So, the first button of course, the up button. Now that's easy to program, I can't lie. Pretty simple, it's pretty simple. We go from this one to just void jump, and this one, public void jump. What? That is crazy. Attach it to the button, and then that's it. Then I added left and right movement. But it was not as easy as I thought it would be, because this took me a couple days to realise that input.getAxis, which is a function I have for the player to move, that does not correlate with touchscreen. Well, sh then I came across this absolute pookie bear who made a clear way for me to convert the movement into UI, so thank you, uh, Jitru. Very swag, very swag. And just like Jerry on a roller coaster, the left and right work. I managed to use the event triggers which I never ended up using until now, so that's great as well. Speaking of which, I tested the game on my phone and it works, so that's amazing. Hey, let's go! And now all that's left to do is to go pre-register the game on the Play Store, yes sir. The only thing is that this version of Platform Blood is only going to have 4 levels because, well the game's not finished. I just wanted to put the game out for mobile first because, you know, it's kind of swag, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So to recap, level 5 production has started, I've ported the game to mobile and um, yeah, Merry New Year and Happy Christmas. The next devlog may be a bit because I want to work on prelims and hopefully not totally fuck them up. Hopefully the devlogs won't be delayed too much but I'll keep posting updates of the game like on Twitter. So make sure to pre-register for Platform Blood on Android and Apple users. Get it on a Mac or something, I don't know. Airdrop it from your Mac to your right. <laughs> my bad, my bad. And then peace out, Bloods. Keep it real. Skibbity pop pop bye.